Hey guys, it's Ashley with Big World Young Feet and I'm here today to talk about 2018 reading resolutions. I love to make resolutions. I'm not very good at keeping them. So this year I decided, heck with them, I'm only going to make some reading resolutions because those are my favorite ones to keep. So this is what I'm doing. I of course have a Loish Term 1917 bullet journal to keep track of everything. So what I have done is in my trusty bullet journal, I have written out a couple of lists. Um, the first is Goodreads' is 100 books to read in a lifetime. I don't have a goal to read all these this year. Certainly a lot of them I've already read. This is just kind of um, to remind me of the classics because I want to get more into classics this year. I read, I tend to read a lot of new YA, a lot of new uh, books for young readers, um, and just a lot of like, you know, new stuff that comes out. Um, and I do read some classics, but I want to, I really want to get more into classics this year. So this is just, this is just a list to, this is just a list to remind me of that. Um, and I can check them off as I go along. The more important list is this one. The Newberry Award winner. So the name of my channel comes from the very first winner of the Newberry Award, The Story of Mankind by Hendrik Willem van Loon. Um, it is basically a history of the world from the beginning of time. Um, he, he wrote, he, it was published in the 20s, so up until the 20s. Um, but in the preface to that book, he writes about being a child um, and going to the top of a cathedral, I think it was, or some kind of tower. Um, and he has a quote about that you know the world is big but our feet are young and i love that quote so much and it kind of inspired me to, to start my book stream start a book channel um because i feel like that's what books do the world is so big um but as long as we have energy enough to read and and engage with the world that way we've got all the time in the world which is so exciting to me so i have a goal to read all of the newberry award winners originally this goal was to read both the winners and the finalists but then I realized that I also wanted to read other things. So I'll read the finalists eventually and as they come up. Um, but my primary goal is to read all of the winners. So one of the lists that I have written in my bullet journal is all of the winners from 1922, uh, 1922 through 2017, 2018. I'm going to try to read them in order, but I've already read a few and I'll probably skip around here or there. So I'll have my number one goal this year is to read one Newbery Award winner a month. If I do more, great, but I want to stick to one a month. The other goal, I'm so excited. Um, I bought the Idlewild Co. Ladies of Literature calendar this year. And it's so beautiful. I love the illustrations. They're just absolutely gorgeous. So I have a goal this year to read one book by each of the ladies, one of the, each of the women featured on this calendar. So January, it's Jane Austen. Guys, I have a confession. I have never read Jane Austen. Never. It was never assigned to me in a class and I just never picked her up. I don't have anything against her. I've just never read her. I think I tried to pick up Pride and Prejudice when I was in high school and just I couldn't get into it and I, that was just me, me, me being an immature high schooler, I think. So January 1st, I will be starting Pride and Prejudice for the very first time and I'm super nervous. I am really, really nervous about this. Like she's so big and she's so important and I've heard so many wonderful things that I'm like, I'm, I'm just really kind of terrified. So I'm going to try to go into it with a positive mind and the belief that I'm smart enough to read Jane Austen, but <laughs> I guess we'll find out. Um, I'm so excited. Um, so what I plan to do is every month I plan to go through um, and you know, one read a book by the author featured for that month. But then as I finish a book, write it in the day. So, you know, I do that anyway on Goodreads and in my, and in my bullet journal. But um, by the end of the year, I think it would be so cool to have a calendar for that calendar year filled with the titles that I'd read that year. Um, so that's my goal. The first one up is January. Um, then February, let's see if I can do this. February is Virginia Woolf. Um, March is Emily Dickinson. Um, April is Maya Angelou. I'm going to forget these months because I, what, what are the months of the year, Ashley? Um, January, February, March, April, uh, May is Emily Bronte, June is Sylvia Plath, July is Lucy Maud Montgomery, 
Um, August is George Eliot. September is J.K. Rowling, which is so perfect. Back to school, Harry Potter time. I'm guessing I'm gonna have to not read Harry Potter again though, right? Like I'll probably have to pick up The Casual Vacancy or something like that. Um, October is Mary Shelley. Perfect timing for Frankenstein, which I'll probably do a reread for that. Um, uh, November is Murasaki Shikubu. Um, yikes. I'm terrified to read her because all of her, her main novel, like she's really famous for writing the first kind of novel is like a thousand pages or something crazy like that and yikes so she, she's another one that really intimidates me um and december is gertrude stein so i am so excited to do my ladies of literature um this month or this year so excited to get through that calendar i've, I've admired it for years and finally picked it up when i was in salem um, this past fall and I just am super super excited. Um, the third third goal and really it's not even a super important goal for me is I want to try to read 52 books this year. I know that's not a lot compared to some of you guys out there um, but I typically read around 40 or so titles a year and I want to focus more on quality over quantity. Like I said I want to get more into the classics and those take longer for me to read so I'm less concerned with the number but I do want to read more or I want to prioritize reading over television and watching the Office on Netflix for the 15th time. I've read it. I've watched it more than 15 times, I'm going to be honest. Let's not talk about it. Let's not talk about it. But anyway, I want to read more than doing that. Um, I want to prioritize reading in my life more than I have. And I'm already a pretty big reader, but I mean, who, why can't you read more, right? So that's my 2018. I am really excited to kick off the year. I am ready for Christmas to be over. Uh, try not to be a Grinch, but we're going to Asheville after Christmas, and it's an annual tradition. I love it. I'm so excited, and I'm going to, of course, go to Malaprops and probably get a lot of my reading picked up from there. So I hope you guys are having a great Christmas season, a great holiday season, and I want to know what your goals are. What are you doing in 2018? Let me hear them. Thanks so much. Um, if you haven't done so already, subscribe. I'm pointing at the bottom, right? That's how this works. You point at the bottom and tell people to subscribe, so do that. <laughs> Follow me on my Instagram. It's at bigworld uh, underscore books. Love to see you around sometime. Have a great one. Bye.